name is Jennifer Lyle. I'm a spiritual mentor and intuitive teacher, and I wanted to do a brief video with you about how to light white sage. White sage is a herb that's been used for cleansing and clearing in Native American tran um, traditions for many, many years. Um, it's a little tricky to work with, so I thought that I would give you a little tour of the materials you'll need and how to light it. So first you'll need something to burn it in. This is a beautiful shell that you can use. It won't crack. I've actually tried using some other shells from the ocean, uh, but they have cracked. So it needs to have this beautiful pearlized lining in order for it to not crack from the heat. You have to take care because there are holes in the shell and you have to take care that none of the embers, when you burn the white sage, go down that, uh, down through those holes. Uh, here's another example of a shell. It's much smaller, but the holes are kind of closer. There's a smaller area to burn white sage on. So this one may not be quite as good or you'll just have to be more careful when using it. This is a beautiful shell to start with. I'm gonna actually show you my shell that I've been using for some time now. Uh, so what I have here, this is called a smudge stick. And this here is just loose white sage. So you can see this one's 28 grams and I paid $3.95 for it. So you can use either one. The loose sage burns really well in the shell. The smudge stick you can use without a shell, although I would still recommend having something underneath it while you burn it in case any of the hot embers were to fall. You don't want to have your house set on fire or set the carpet on fire or anything of that nature. So let's start with seeing what it's like to light the moose white sage. So I'm going to put just a little bit. It seems to vary by the variety of sage and maybe how long it's been drying because I have had some sage that has been really easy to light and, and burns very quickly and some that actually seems to be very difficult to light. This sage is falling into the very easy to light category. So you just take your sage, put it up next to the flame. There we go. And it's the smoke that you want for clearing. Now this is uh, smudging, these are smudging feathers that I actually made myself. I've tied them, there's a crystal in here. And you would just use this, and yeah, it's gonna get really smoky here. And you would then wave the smoke over you to cleanse and clear your aura. You would do this over your whole body. You can even lift up your feet if you like. If you wanted to carry the bowl and then go throughout the room and say a little prayer, whether you want to say the Lord's Prayer or another prayer, or just even simply holding that the intention that you bless this home with love and joy, then you can go through the, the room or the home to do that. Now you would want a clear space, perhaps after you've done some energy work, or um, if you're moving into a new home, you've had a group meditation, um, or you just want to freshen up the space. Using sage is a wonderful tool for that. So now I'm going to show you how to light the sage stick. So this is one that I've been using for a while. You can see it's black from the use. Um, this sage stick here would actually be quite easy to light. There's a lot of uh, loose edges. This one's much tighter formed. You can see the, the difference in the two. When it's tighter formed, it's a little harder to light. And I'll show you how to do that. Now you can use a candle as well, or a lighter, or a lighter like you would use for a barbecue or just a match. So I'm just holding the flame up next to the sage stick. Taking care not to burn my fingers. Oh, we got a little bit of flame. But you can see the embers there where it's orange. And so this is actually lit really well this time. And you would use it in the same way. So I will actually typically use my shell with this, kind of hold it onto the edge and then cleanse the room or cleanse myself or cleanse my client using the feathers and the shell and the sage stick. And that is how you light sage. Now it will go out on its own. Um, if you find that it's uh, lingering a little longer, you can kind of 
smush it out and that will stop it from smoking. But that is how you light sage. If you would like information on how to use other spiritual tools, uh, learn more about meditation or learn more about connecting to your soul through the Connect to You program, uh, you can please visit my website at jlyle.com. It's been such a delight to connect with you. Thank you so much for your listening and have yourself a magical day. Bye for now. Thank you.